CTV family. Catch us live on your TV screen. that amazing jam right over there ooh, 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 DJ Whitefish is giving us the most but right now we are joined by Uanda Kuambi and we'll be chatting to him I did tell you earlier on in the show that he is a fashion designer and also a clothing brand owner so we want to find out what he does and who he is right Anda welcome to the show thank you so much for joining us today thank you very much amazing so like I say Renee, a lot of viewers at home don't know you so if we were to know you who is Uanda Kuambi um, okay. Yeah. Um, Anda is uh, a fashion designer, brand owner of Anda 96. Mm. Yes. Mm. Amazing. So you are a fashion designer and you're also a clothing brand owner. Yes. So take us through the process. Like as a fashion designer, what do you do? As a clothing brand owner, what do you do? Is there a difference between the two? Actually, there is. There is. Um, mm. as, a, as a fashion designer, you have to Mm. You have to sketch, and then you have to design certain back in front of the of a certain thing. As a Clothing brand button. owner, you have to like to manage how like your, the brand moves. What does the brand attract the people so that they, they can buy into it? Mm. So you say you know you don't have any sponsors and everything like that. So you are an independent yeah. worker, independent business person. Was that a conscious decision that you took? You're like, you know what, I'm starting this thing. I graduated as a fashion designer and I'm doing my own business. I don't want to involve any other person. Definitely it was because like to be independent, you do what you want at, your, at the time that you are, you understand me? Mm. I don't want to be under some certain of a thing okay. of a company, no. Yeah. I like to do what I want on my own time. Mm. So it was like a decision, that but to do. be independent, I enjoy it for now. Mm. I don't know what, what are the Future ups and plans. downs. Yes. Okay, okay. And then as, as, a, as a fashion designer and also a clothing brand, have you, that's mine. <laughs> as a fashion designer and a clothing brand owner, was it, um, what are some of the challenges that you have encountered through the process of it or through the journey? Okay. Mm. Um, you know, there are so many, there are so many. Mm. First of all, um, I started the brand in 2019. Okay. And then the lockdown obviously happened. Yeah. So I had to like to go through all those things. Mm. But now it seems like um, the regulations are a bit down. Mm. So I'm trying to be there. Mm. So even a lot. Though, even though to be there, it's not like I won't make it. I know I will make it. Yeah. So a lot of people like when they encounter challenges. Baba discouraged, you know. Okay, but when they go to the no how has your challenges or the challenges that you've gone through have they like given you that spirit? You go, eh, you know what? Angus is catalin. Okay, they've motivated you to actually put in more work and to push. Actually, um, I would say they did motivate me, mm. but at the same time, I know what I want. Mm. I know mm. what I want. Mm. At the same time, I know what I want. Mm. For, for, for other people to motivate me, it's a good thing. Yeah. But you have to start by yourself to know what you want. I love that. I love you know that. What I, want. I love that. So, if, if, if like we've got people watching at home, they're like, you know what? I want to study what I understudied because I also want to be a fashion designer and I also want to own my own clothing brand, you know, in a few years' time. What must they study like in school? Is there specific subjects that they should study so that they are able to do this thing? Uh, definitely it mm. is, there is, but I would say for, 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 for someone who wants to start a fashion, just be yourself, love it first, mm. or 
if you understand me. It must love, be a passion. Yes, yes, mm. you have to be mm. passionate about it. Okay. Love yourself first and then you have to put your, your, your love into it. Mm. Don't okay. just wake up and say, no, I want to do fashion just because someone has done a fashion. doing it. Okay. Now let's talk about your clothing brand. Ne? So what type of clothes do you sell? What type of clothes do you advertise? Um, I sell uh, unisex. So okay. It's a street, it's partly a streetwear brand. Okay. Unisex. So you cater for boys, girls, men, women? Everyone, Alice. everyone. Okay, okay. Amazing. And then if they want to get a hold of Impatazako, where do they go? Is there like a social okay. platform that they can yeah. visit? Yes, yes, there is. Uh, fa on Facebook, it's a uh, shop under 96. Okay, one word. And then on Instagram, it's shop underscore under 96. Mm -hmm. And they can hit me up on my personal one, under Guambi 96. Mm. Yes, that's okay. how they can. Reach and then, me out. always, most of all, you always have plans, you know, it's like, so you, 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 you want to see it grow. So, where do you see a brand Yako growing in the future? What are you going to add, you know, to make it more? Okay. I see. Um, I won't say I see myself in a certain position in, in the future because I don't know what the future holds on to me. I like to do it now. Okay. You see. Okay. So I don't know where the brand is going to be or mm. where am I going to be. So that's why I push myself to be now, mm. to do anything now. And then there's a lot of brand and fashionistas out there so in the future you're not going to collaborate with anybody you're still keeping it to and uh, i still keep it to myself okay still keep it because like um there are a lot of brands but i like to keep it to myself for now okay maybe great thank you so much for coming through on the thank show you.